everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. Today I wanted to talk to you about something I know will be of interest to a lot of people. I often hear from people who care about the narcissist in their lives. They want to help them. And I know that no matter what anyone says, some people are just not going to get away from the narcissist in their lives. They, for whatever reason, are not going to do it. So even though I always say that the best thing to do is to get this person out of your life or get away from them or go no contact or something, there are some people who are just not going to do that. So if you care about the narcissist in your life and you are not planning on leaving, there's something that you need to understand. And this goes for any type of relationship, whether it's parent, child, spouse, sibling, whatever. I could go all into how the narcissist doesn't care about you and you don't even really exist to them on any real level, but you probably already know that. If you don't, I'm not going to revisit that here but I strongly suggest you check out the episodes of this show entitled Yes, the Narcissist Hates You, Narcissist Believe Feelings Are Facts, and the show entitled The Narcissist True Motivation. I could go into how miserable your relationship will be, but you probably already know that too. If you would like more information on that, you can check out the episode of this show called Four Reasons Narcissists Are Abusive and the one entitled Loving a Narcissist, Is It Worth It? What I want to address here are the nuts and bolts of the idea of helping narcissists. It's a very noble idea and it's a noble cause, but the problem is that the only way the narcissist will allow you to supposedly help them is by enabling them. Anything else you try to do will be called abuse. If you try to teach them about responsibility and accountability, they will call it blame and say you're abusive. If you try to teach them about respect, they will say you want them to grovel at your feet and call you abusive. If you try to teach them about consideration for other people, they're going to say you have no consideration for them and call you abusive. If you try to teach them about manners, they'll say you're controlling them and call you abusive. If you try to teach them to think before they speak or before they act, they'll say you're trying to manipulate and brainwash and change them and again, they will call you abusive. There is no winning here. They don't understand the basic things you need to know to get along in this world or have relationships and their disorder is set up in such a way that everything they hear sounds like blame, accusations, and insults. You cannot teach someone like that anything. The only thing they will allow you to do is what you have been doing the entire time and that's carrying their emotional burdens for them like an emotional baggage cart. They will allow you to be their punching bag, their whipping boy, their emotional pack mule, and that's it. That's all they want you for. Many times they try to force people into this position using guilt and manipulation and other underhanded tactics, but other times people do it willingly in the misguided belief that they are helping the narcissist. They feel sorry for this overwhelmed person who staggers under the weight of all this pain and confusion and things like that. That's understandable and it's actually even true, but it's wrong. It's not helping them, it's hurting them and it's hurting you. You are actually enabling their abusive behavior by doing this and you are reinforcing their disorder by letting them rely on you instead of forcing them to deal with and process their own feelings. This is the whole basis of the disorder. It's a defense mechanism characterized by affect displacement. They project their own feelings about themselves onto other people to make these feelings easier to deal with. That's why they accuse you of things you didn't say and didn't do and don't feel and then attack you for that. Those are their feelings about themselves. Everything they do, everything they think, everything their disorder is was created by their mind to protect themselves from experiencing feelings that they find threatening, scary, or overwhelming. Now they're an adult and the defense mechanism has grown into pathological patterns and behaviors. Allowing them to shift those feelings onto you just continues the pattern and reinforces the disorder. They will never learn that they actually can deal with these emotions if they're not forced to deal with them. Stop being their emotional baggage cart. Stop being their punching bag. Stop being their whipping boy. It inadvertently makes the problem worse, not better. If you really want to help, stop helping. The truth is, the best thing you can do for the narcissist is leave their feelings to them. They will either learn to deal with them or they will not. Some eventually do as they get older. Their feelings are not your responsibility and more than that, just as they have no right to force you to carry their feelings for them, you have no right to volunteer. Stop explaining, denying, excusing, and most of all, stop reacting. 
Don't let them cause a problem with you to distract them from the problems within themselves. Those feelings are not going away and it's time the narcissist faced them. This might seem cruel, but sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind and it is far crueler to enable the very thing that is crippling them. You cannot fix them, but you don't have to be part of the problem either. I hope this clears a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions, so please keep those coming. I take appointments online and over the phone Monday through Friday, so if you're interested in speaking with me, you can visit littleshaman.org and click the Book an Appointment tab to go ahead and do that. You've been listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day.